King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter. Chase Money. Hey, Euro Step King, a baller named Carter Day. I pod on the point guard, calling plays. I'm a rookie, but I'm going through another phase. You'll see when your coach screaming, yo, he got a change. I'm the best. Who's this Paul y'all speak about? We go head to head, back door, y'all better sneak him out. Out the arena, cause the game, he ain't showing up. When I give him 50, watch my name start blowing. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to the conference finals game one. We're going up against the Golden State Warriors. They put the Oklahoma City Thunder out of the playoffs in seven games. It was it was incredible, man. I just couldn't believe it. Now, uh, the Miami Heat is going up against the Chicago Bulls over on the East Coast. I wish I had some footage to cut for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Maybe next year in my career, they can have like highlights from the entire playoffs. But it is what it is. You're checking out the starting teams for the Golden State Warriors and the New Orleans Pelicans. My bad. I, I was trying to. Never mind. But let's hop into this game. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing with the bench player, Drew Holiday. It is what it is. Ride that bench, young boy. We're going to get this win, though. <laughs> Iggy. I can't believe it, man. Iggy with the Golden State Warriors just makes their team even more cheese. Steph throwing alley-oops, Iggy catching him, Iggy getting a three-point shot, crazy. But hopping into the game, first possession. Yeah, that's right, first possession off the tip-off. I'm going to go right at Steph Curry, neck with the nice little up and under. He didn't know what hit him. We going to make that work, though. <laughs> it's 2-2, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to go on this little seesaw real quick. So I pass it off to A. Davis, and he gets that thing punched. Like Superman punched. But uh, Iguodala gets his shot punched as well, so things are looking good so far. Both teams are playing defense, but, you know, when they put me out on a nice little fast break and a switch at that, I got to take advantage. <laughs> good God. David Lee, how's it feel, brother? How's it feel? Mm. Yo, was that a flagrant foul? My God. I don't think, I don't think I've destroyed anybody like that in, in my career, though. But check out David Lee getting nice in the post real quick. Man, he couldn't do nothing against that dude, man. But you know what? It's all good. It's the first quarter. We got to set the tempo. So we're going to try to come back down the court and score. So you don't know, put my little moves on, you know, being the man with the plan. Um, I don't like giving Ryan Anderson too many picks. But, you know, that right there, that was a, that was a flagrant foul. It, it's already done. Put that in the books as a flagrant foul. David Ipod, King Carter, you have been ejected. Fairly ignorant too. Look at that. Did you see the elbow? Anybody see the elbow? No? Okay. I thought I might have got my Metal World piece on right there while I was dunking, but did y'all just see me get crossed? Like, I tried to make up for it with the block, but I don't know how I didn't block that shot. It's all good. Maybe the timing was off. But they're currently up three, and I will tell you right now, even though we do try to get something here, they are going to go on a nice little tear. So I pass it off to A. Davis with a nice little alley-oop. Yeah, man. We doing it for the vine out here in these streets. <laughs> things are looking pretty good but yeah man playing golden state like this in this type of scenario i remember when i had a problem with steph curry and Iguodala when they hurt my boy drew holiday when i was just a a tender tender rookie you know what i'm saying i ain't know nothing about the game so this this game actually means a lot to me but playing this team in the playoffs is a totally different atmosphere i'm scared to let them shoot three so i'm kind of pressing everybody at every given moment now, I try to hit this shot right here. The pump fake did not work to my liking, but it is what it is. It's the end of the first quarter. It's 43 to 36. Like, in the first quarter, you know that this is going to be a high-scoring game. You know that both these teams right now are going to try to go at each other's throat. But guess what? They don't start your boy in the second quarter. It's all right. I don't got no problem with that. I truly played like the whole first quarter like I don't even think I came out but it's all good so I come back in the game and we're down nine so I try to put the moves on layup doesn't go I don't get the foul and you know right now I'm just stressed out so I get back on defense and I thought my controller was almost broke right there because I didn't move at all but that was great defense I grabbed the rebound we're out on the break one man fast break no it's not a quit and I'm going all the way to the rack yeah that's what I do that's what I do 
<laughs> now, I'm trying to actually come back against Golden State, and every time I score a two, they shoot a three. And every time I shoot a three, they get a four-point play. But I'm just going to put my balls all up in that man's face because he decided to back up and say, yeah, come on down, man. The train is boarding, so, you know, it is what it is. Things are looking pretty good so far. I'm looking frustrated. You see, you see me spazzing out, man. I'm looking like Russell Westbrook at the moment. I'm the jack right now. I'm just trying to put points on the board. But guess what? They go back down to the paint. You know what I'm saying? But I get them cookies. You know what I'm saying? We out on the fast break. I see the man cutting, but I ain't going to give it to him. I'm going to trust in myself. You know what I'm saying? If I would have threw the alley-oop to Tyreek, Iggy would have just tipped that joint out of midair. So I decided to take it my way, give him a little uh, Give him a little LeBron James love real quick. But I don't know how he missed that layup, Thompson. I'm sorry, man. You're going to have to get better at that. I'm going to try to hit a nice little buzzer beater right here. So I call for the screen. Three, two, one. Cash. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Watch me work. Watch me work. Uh, uh, Y'all don't see me right now, but I'm Ricky Bobby. And like, uh, uh, Ricky. Uh, uh, never mind. You right. Never mind. But um, that right there. Is the end of the second quarter. It's 68-61. I bring it back to single digits. Look at the look in my eyes. I am pissed. I'm ready to do what I need to do to win this game. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, what's been the key to what's working well out there for you guys right now? Defensive end. We rebound the ball. Keeping him off the glass and uh, being an executing offensive end. Steph, thank you so much. Plenty of ingredients to a solid effort, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly. All right, I'm back. Steph Curry is talking all that trash, but he don't understand that his team is making mistakes now. The game is starting to get close. I'm getting hungry. I want to eat. I want to feast. And guess what? I feast on the Warriors, so I'm going to go right at Steph Neck. I don't even care. And, oh, my God, did Iggy just get put in that poster? Don't get mad, bro. Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? You can't get mad at that. Steph Curry set you up for the failure. But just to let you guys know, me and Steph Curry are somewhat in a foul trouble war. I think Steph has, like, three or four fouls, and I have, like, two, so... You know what I'm saying? The story is going to develop a little bit later in the game with that. But I pass it off to Tyreek Evans, and he nails the shot, giving me a nice little assist right there. Dropping dimes, getting VC for that dime. <laughs> but Tyreek Evans only has seven points. We all know that he's not a big factor at the three. You know what I'm saying? If that was LeBron James on the wing, maybe he'll get the ball more in. Maybe he'll be able to create some shots. But, yo, they're taking some crazy layups this time around, man. I don't understand why, but... His layup animations, the way they set up, he just don't have the best ones. But did y'all see the crowd? Oh, my God. He put that man on skiz eights. He put him on end lines, though. Look at that. Oh, 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 my ankle, my ankle, my ankle. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> but it is 77 to 79. We are up two points. It passed over to Baysmore, and I don't know why he was left open. Dude got a nice little J on him, but it's tied up. I'm trying to go for that 81. No, and I ain't talking about Kobe. So I call for the nice little screen, try to set something up. And I see him cutting to the basket. And Steesma does not get the shot to fall, but he gets the foul. And Steph Curry, you got five, baby. Go sit that punk ass on the bench. You don't, you don't want you don't want to play with us. You don't want to play with us. Now, it's 86 to 90. Now that Steph Curry is out of the game, we kind of are trying to take control. And I get the cookies, and you know your boy is out. You know your boy about to hit the spin cycle on him. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Did you see the spin cycle in a regular game? In a regular game? This is crazy. This is blasphemous. Look at that face, though. Mm, look at that face. Urgh. Yo, I love the way my dude make these expressions, like, after you do something crazy. But, yeah, man, we putting on that pressure. We've been putting on the pressure since, uh, I think, the second quarter. We've been running a little bit of half-court press. It's been working to our liking. Now, I tried to get the steal there, but they got it off the bogan in time. So, they're, they're scoring just with us, just enough. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, funny thing about this, right? You know when the fourth quarter starts? Who starts the fourth quarter? Starters, am I right? Now, does anybody remember that the homie got five fouls yeah i don't think y'all remember so i'm just gonna go right at steph curry you know what i'm saying right at his chest try to hit him with the euro step king real quick and your boy fouled out i'm going to the line he's going to the bench 
he's mad. He about to go get that wristband. I'm mad, bro. Like, like they make those type of wristbands. But the first one falls. The lead is getting bigger. And you see the cookie Monstars on my feet. So you already know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I need to do out here. But, uh, yeah, check this out. Eric Gordon at the line. No problem. He nails the shot, right? But what y'all don't know is your boy got five fouls. Yeah, man, I got five fouls, and I'm trying to play defense without trying to swipe at the ball. So I had to let the guy run past me. Iguodala does know that shot, does get it close. But check out the cheese that happens here. Like, this is like, this ain't even government cheese. This is like manufactured cheese. Like, this is that big block of cheese that looked like a big behind center block. Come on, man. Charging cheese. That's what we do 2K to get me to go to, go to the bench. That's what we doing out here in these streets, man. Come on now. But uh, looking at the stats and the score, my team came out with the win. They were able to hold on. We won the game. Things are looking up. And um, I just want to let you guys know that playing on Hall of Fame is very stressful. So you guys can't fault me for some of the crazy dunks that I be doing in this game because... Playing on Hall of Fame simulation, your shot just doesn't work. But there's your verification. It was a great game. I know it's only game one, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to try to get you game two, game three, game four. And if it goes past that, five, six, or seven. I'm going to try to get those out in the next, like, two or three days. And, um, yeah, I wanted to upload a screenshot of this. But it didn't work. So it is what it is. But, um, yeah, man, I'm going to get these games out to you guys quick, soon, fast, early. So when the real NBA Finals hit, I will be in the Finals as well. But let's hop into the press conference and make it do what it do. A game to remember. You had 56 points. Would you agree that you put the team on your shoulders and just willed them to win with the way you were scoring? Of course, I put the entire team on my back. I put the coaching staff on my back. I put the administration on my back. I put the league on my back. We doing this for the West Coast, baby. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me start throwing gang signs out here. I put everybody on the injured reserve on my back. That's what I do out here in these streets. I'm IKC, baby. Stop playing. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Sure, I led the way in scoring, but it was a total group effort out there, and we each played our part in getting it done. I just did what the team needed me to do. And tonight, the team needed me to put up points. Really, it's all about doing what needs to be done to come away with that win. That's what we play for, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.